So doing an autopsy on an Eagleston holly that died of death, you can see the whole top broke off trying to extract it from the hole. But circling, girdling roots are most likely the cause of its decline. It didn't root past its initial rooting area over a, a one-year period. So one of the most important functions of, um, of planting a tree or factors in planting a tree is picking good uh, stock from the nursery. In this case, we wanted something that had good fibrous root system, not girdling. We're going through here and checking this root ball and uh, eliminating any extra organic matter soil um, that it's growing in um, and very gently kind of teasing out some of that root system. Um, breaking a few of them is a good thing. Breaking a lot of them, not so good. So you want to be careful with that. Um, secondly, one of the most important factors is planting at a proper depth. Now we're able to just lift this from the trunk because it's a light soil mix in a containerized tree. But one with a, nat with a native root ball or native soil, you would want to use a strap to lift that from the ball, not from the trunk. Um, in this case, we'll use some native soil to help fill in a little bit of that hole to where we have a final planted depth of about one inch above the grade. You don't want to use a lot of compost in the bottom of the hole because it can degrade and over time the tree ball can sink down a little bit. We don't want that. Um, finally what he's going to, uh, to do is make sure that we've got the right aspect of the tree facing uh, the proper direction. In this case these trees are being used for um, to develop a, a privacy screening. Um, so, and there are other trees planted nearby, you can't see them in the frame, but we're going to want to make sure that the widest side of this tree is facing, um, is facing uh, towards the homeowner so that we can get the most immediate screening and the least amount of time possible to have these grow together. Finally, we're going to be installing these tubes. They serve a dual purpose. One is that we can look in there um, after we drop it. We can look in there and see if there's already water in the hole before we water or if it's really dry. Um, we've got one sitting right here that we're using a drain grate lid for. We'd look in there. If there's standing water, we wouldn't water. If it's spiders come out of it, then we need to water. Um, you can use these cheaper caps, but what we're going to recommend on this particular irrigation system, um, there aren't bubblers set up for each individual tree. They're being watered with other landscape plants. So we're going to set this tube in the ground and, um, and ask the homeowner to use this um, uh, mechanical timer with a small bubbler nozzle um, so that they can water each of these deeply once a week and, uh, and be able to uh, keep them alive during their establishment period.